Hello everybody, this is Aqua Tammy, and we are back once again with The Sims 2 Mega Hood. This is round number 9, part number 15, at the Rutherford household in Belladonna Cove. It is Tuesday in fall. It is, um, Jeff Rutherford is here. He is a romance sim. He wants to be a celebrity chef. And he is off work today, and he has a lot of skills he needs to get. Um, his wife is LaShawn Rutherford, LaShawn Cameron Rutherford. She wants to marry off six kids. She is a hostess. She's off work today, which is good because she's pregnant. Then they have a daughter, Marsha Cameron, who was born before they got married. And as I said, they are expecting their second child. Oh, I added on to this house aggressively, and I did not even remember. I aggressively added on to this house. Well, I was wondering how we were going to make this bachelor pad into a family home. I guess I figured that out in the last part. Okay, so... Yes, bathroom, bathroom, lots of bedrooms because we're going to have lots of kids. So that makes sense. It is a bit tight, but I think we'll be okay, hopefully. We're, we're trying to take a bachelor home and turn it into a family home, and it's not, it's not the easiest fit, to be honest. The leader of the pack is here. Hey, Spot. Does anybody here know Spot? No, nobody here knows Spot. How is our puppy doing? We also have a puppy. Um, our puppy's name is Mandy. So Mandy ages up in two more days. So do you have food, Mandy? Um, you got a little bit of food. Okay. Okay, so Jeff has decided to go to bed. That's fine. We have some woman hanging out at our house. Just hanging out at our house. This is Rose, right? Yeah. She needs to go home. Oh, the babies woke up. Okay. All right. You're going to need to get up and take care of uh, Marsha. What bait, what name are we on? We're on H. Okay, so this baby is going to be an H baby. Okay. Oh, and we have to decide if we're going to hit the randomizer or not. It's been creating chaos in the lands. But I've come up with an idea. No, 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 not right... I was just going to talk about how I come up with the idea. Came up with the idea of flipping a coin to decide if we use the randomizer or not. Let me get uh, Google. I need a coin flip. Coin flip. The first flip doesn't count because that does it as soon as you open it. All right, I'm going to say heads, we use the randomizer, tails, we don't. So, flipping, oh, you can't see me flipping. You really should watch me flip. It's fun times. I mean, this is exhilarating content. No, we do not use the randomizer in this instant. So, no randomizer for you. All right. Let's just have what we have. I like her groovy. Just one baby. Oh, we had another little girl. Um... Oh, 
Um, LaShawn can take the days. How about Heidi? It's not a very popular name in this day and age, but it, it was when I was a kid. There were some Heidi's running around. Um, where's my Mega Hood tracker? Let's change this to Heidi. So, daughter, baby. And she was born in the morning of round 9. So, 9, 10, 11. She's going to age up in round 11. And then we got to change this from an H to an I. So, the next baby will be an I. All right. All right. What we're going to do, we are going to put... Heidi in the crib. And then we're going to change Marsha's diaper. Uh, and Rose, if you could go home. I need to ask to leave. Uh, did we have a... No, we don't have anything up here. So we would have to go all the way downstairs with the baby. What if we took out... Hear me out. We're not using this anyway. And we take this, whatever this is, and go like this. We need to redo the walls and the floors in here. Actually, let's go with that. We're probably going to redo the walls in here. Because they, they're not very... They just don't work for me. Oh, why do we have no money? What? Oh, because we put a thing on them. Hmm. Well, that's problematic because I was going to get a cute little $500 thing. What can I sell? Do we have anything I can just, like, get rid of to get us a $500 uh, fridge? We could downgrade a few things, but I don't want to necessarily get rid of Except for we have way too many of these things. Um, how much is this? $56. Well, that's hardly worth getting rid of. How much is this? $100. Let's get rid of the microwave. Let's buy one of these in like a white or a gray. And we'll eventually put a countertop here for Smart Milk. And let's get you to, you want to befriend Darren Dreamer. Uh, all right. You want to befriend your puppy. Also a good move. Uh, feed a bottle to Marsha. Why are there... Uh, okay. Did you just see the flies hovering over there? Um, and... And then cuddle Marsha. Put Marsha in the crib. And then we'll feed a bottle to Heidi. And we'll cuddle Heidi. And then we'll ask this woman to get the hell out of our house. Rose, go home. I think she came home with Jeff. Uh, get away, Sealands. I don't play with Sealands most of the time. Because they get on my nerves. They visually bother me. And then we'll put Heidi in the crib. Now, I don't know when Cameron, uh, when him, mm, when Mandy ages up. I don't have it noted. But 
I would think this week would this would be the day for Mandy to age up. I would think so. And then we're going to ask her to leave. We need a, we need like a, if we had a place to put it, we could use a, um, elevator. Uh, do we have bed? food for Mandy? She has a little bit of food. Okay. What is Mandy up to? Oh, she's going to go use the bathroom. Okay, let's let her do her business. No, 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 no. No, no. Let, Man uh, let Mandy do her business. And make a little mess. No. And then you're going to tell her how great she was for peeing outside. And then you're going to give her love, feed her a treat, give her a snuggle. Mm. I don't know if she wants to do all kinds of things. Oh, good, good. You made friends with your puppy. Oh, you want to be master to Mandy. That requires a little bit more. Oh, watch where you're stepping. Uh, and now we don't have the money to... And then you can get the mail, but we don't actually have the money to pay the mails right this second. Now, Jeff might have some money stashed. I've got put up that you both have money stashed. <clears throat> but I don't know if that's true or not. I may have gotten into the stash and not re recorded it. Um, hey, Isaac Bell. Um, do you want to greet Isaac Bell? Isaac Bell, do you want to be greeted or not? You finish mopping up. And I think she is now out of food. You're doing a great job, hon. Great job. Um, and then you can... Do we have a downstairs bathroom? No. Also problematic. We could, if we got... We could make a downstairs bathroom, but it would take some effort and money, which we, you know... Oh, we do have a downstairs bathroom right here. It's been cleaned as we speak. What are you doing? What are you doing... Jeff, you haven't even gotten up good. And uh, just don't try for a baby. I mean, you I know you want six kids to marry off, but you don't have to have them at, all at the same time. You, you can put a little space in between them. Okay, just a woohoo. Son of the gun, we got it on just a woohoo? <sighs> Jeez Louise. Okay, um. Oh, 
what are we going to do with you? What are we going to do? Okay, we're going to check the money situation. You have 44000 Okay. Um, bank online, withdrawal. No, let's just withdraw, say, 2000 Oh, yeah, we just paid the maid or the gardener one. Get up here and withdraw money before we don't pay one of our servants. I don't want to not pay the maid. All right, then come down here and get the mail and pay all the bills. can put away all these leftovers. Okay. So now you've got 42,800 or thereabouts. So you still have a lot of money. Why do we have um for some reason, we got people out on the lawn. I'm not sure why, but we might as well greet them. <sighs> Johnny, don't go anywhere. Go ahead and get your friendship all the way up since y'all are barely friends. You and Antonio. <sighs> you did not use the bathroom like I told you to. It's all right. It's all right. And we've got to work on his skills today because his lifetime want. Oh, right, to Tamika. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, who's passing by? Uh, Brianna Custer. She's not in the game yet, is she? I don't think so. Okay. Does he have a bunch of food in his pockets? He has a bed and he has this food in his pocket. So when you finish, we'll get you to use the bathroom and put away the leftovers. <clears throat> and then you're going to have to go to bed. Assuming that the kids are okay. Heidi's looking a little not okay, but I don't know why. Then we'll get you to come upstairs and get some sleep. Because you're going to need to be rested for later anyway. And then Jeff needs to get his cooking up by two levels. His creativity up by two levels and his logic up by one level. Mm, macro, skillinator, cooking. I don't know where he left it. Antonio, they're having some fun in the hot tub getting to know some people. So, I mean, you could go get in the hot tub with Johnny and, and um, is it Isaac? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's an option. Nobody's going to force you to, but I'm... 
He's just on a high because he's newly married. He's just a happy camper. Hopefully he'll join. Y'all can make some friends. I love when people make friends. And I don't have to do anything. It's always good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Miki. I would greet you because you could use friends too. Uh, hold on. I'll take time out of my schedule to greet you. Uh, we got one point of of cooking. Oh, we're going to have to deal with the baby anyway. That's fine. Greet Mickey. And then run upstairs and use the bathroom real quick. And then we've got to deal with babies. Um, Marsha is a spit of a slob. You can tell by the flies that constantly around her person. She a bit of a slob. Are you a slob? You're not. Are you a slob? You're not. I wonder why she's a slob. Man, she might not be, but that's usually what the flies denote. Is Mickey going to come and hang out at the hot tub? Mickey? I greeted you so that you would go get in the hot tub, Mickey. Oh, whatever. Can't make you make friends. But, I mean, I know they're all men, but there's nothing wrong with having some good friends. And then, if you could play with Marsha, feed Marsha, cuddle Marsha, put Marsha in the crib, change Heidi's diaper. It's all right, Heidi, dear. See, Heidi has no, Heidi has no flies, so... Yep, it's Marsha's birthday. I knew it was. Um, well, I suspected it was. I did not know it was. Uh, we're going to have to get some stuff. Um, especially since we have another one on the way. Um... We do not have room. I could move the toddler upstairs. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep the toddlers. Um, okay. We're going to get... Um, we're going to get a potty. We're going to have to have another crib. We're going to have to. Um. Oh, there's the door. So we can't put that there. Where the child going to actually play and live becomes the question. We have this area here, which we can put, we can put, we can put a musical thing here. We can put a logic thing here. We can put a charisma thing there and hope it all works out. Gonna have to work out. 
This house just needs a rework or The only other thing we could do is move this. The only other thing we could do is move this out of here, which I don't know where the hell I would put it. Downstairs, I guess. And then have the the kids out on the balcony. We could get a if we move this down here. Could we fit? I never can see the little toy thing. Could, it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't really fit. They could play on two sides, but not on four sides. Unless I put it like that. We'll just do that and see what happens. Okay. Feed the bottle to Heidi. Cuddle Heidi. Put Heidi in the crib. And if the phone is still ringing, you can answer the phone. And he has not gotten his stuff done for work. Yeah, yeah, honey, I, I'm... Uh, yeah, you want a baby. Good timing. Um... Why don't you go answer the phone or something? Oh, did the phone stop ringing? Oh, good. You're kind of hungry. Um, why don't you come and work on your logic? You're a little hungry, but... We could grill hot dogs for our guests. Because they may be hungry. Where did Isaac? Oh, he's still. We'll cook you some hot dogs. She's not hungry, but. Okay, we got to get a um a cabinet to go up here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Like like a little cabinet. And then who's got the most Oh, he's got tons. We'll, we'll get some smart milk. Okay. Okay, that would get your logic. Now you need creativity and c cooking. So let's get you down here. Let's study cooking. <sighs> Honey, you don't need any. Yeah, you don't need one. Why don't you just put that away? And then as soon as Marsha is up, we've got to age her up. When she wakes up. <clears throat> you could work on... You could call Darren. Um, just to talk. Who had an affair? Oh, his wife did, but he hasn't caught her at it. He might have. I don't remember. Uh, 
Uh, hold. Hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I think we're good now. Okay, Marcia is up. We could age her up. But she's on the phone. And he's studying. But we are going to get there. We'll get her aged up before the episode is over. Is he literally still in the... Dude. He was the first to crawl into the hot tub. And he is still sitting his butt in the hot tub. It's unreal. Antonio's like, I'll come get that last hot dog. All right, dude, you do that. Huh. How are you doing? Oh, he's doing okay. She had to get to 60 to get a friendship with him? She's going to be ready to go back to bed. We haven't even aged up the kiddo. You might have to do the kiddo aging up, Jeff. I know. I know. You want to do some creativity. I got you. But I think you're going to have to age up Marsha. Interesting. She does not have your nose. And Tamika, Marsha, Heidi. Okay. So little Marsha wants to learn how to walk. Good, good. Oh, she is very sloppy. Little Marsha is a Pisces. Okay, Marsha. Now a toddler is a Pisces, which is knowledge, right? Okay. And 
Let me go ahead and mark that mom is preggers again. Pregnant. All right, so we got a little air. We've got a little Pisces on our hand. She's very sloppy, but very outgoing, very active, very nice. So that is good. She also needs to go potty. Jeff, if you will make us a smart milk. And you are not allowed to move while he's making you a smart milk. Yep, you've got your second bump. And now you want a promotion. Okay, that's more important than the cooking thing. So we'll do that. I need you to come upstairs and go to bed. Uh. Okay, Marsha, I need you to drink this bottle. Jeff, I need you to be patient. You need to be a patient father. Where are you go? Oh, I forgot. They like to go through there to get to where they're going. No, Jeff. You're going to be a patient father who is going to potty train his daughter as soon as she finishes. It's okay, Jeff. You're off tomorrow and the next day, so we'll get your stuff done. We're just going to have to get it done. Uh, almost. Almost got her potty trained. Now she wants to learn to walk. And I know your stats look terrible. I'm, I'm aware, but... We're going to put the baby first and at least try to teach her one thing. <sighs> Antonio, now it's not really the time. Bye, Antonio. I don't know what I'm hearing. Where did Johnny go? Did he leave? Oh, Johnny's playing chess. Teach her to walk. You're not that bad off. We'll put you in an energizer as soon as you finish. See, you had that handled. And then she can go and do what she wants. And you can come and put yourself in an energizer. And Marsha can... Now, Jeff's hair is red. LaShawn's hair is black. Marsha's hair is brown. Does LaShawn dye her hair? 
Or is Jeff carrying a brown secondary? Hmm. How are we broke again? Oh, yeah, we got to pull my money out of the bank. Uh, more bank online withdrawal. Let's take out another 2000 I don't know. I don't know what I've done. I've spent the money is probably the answer. But I'm not sure where all that money went. I paid the bills. I bought this. I bought this. I bought this, I bought this, I bought toys. Okay, yeah, okay. I guess I spent it all. <sighs> all right, Jeff. Um, I guess you can come downstairs and start working on some creativity. And we will end this part right here. Uh, Sean is going to have her baby soonish. Soonish, but in, it'll be the next part. So thank you so very much for watching my video. Goodbye for now.